what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video it is your boy josh x barber and if you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed please make sure you guys go down and smash that subscribe button and click on that notification bell i got a fire tutorial for you guys today let's get right to it as you guys can see the client feature today is rocking like a travis scott braid type of style right here i have my scrunchie and i'm about to pull up all the hair together to get it into one ponytail so we can get started on the haircut so today I'm going to be giving my client a taper on the sides and on the back. Right now we're going to comb out a lot of the new growth and we're going to be knocking it down. And to take off the bulk, I'm going to go in with my 1.5 with the lever all the way closed, going with the grain. So right here, I'm going to come in with my number two guard with the lever all the way closed at a different angle. I'm going against the grain this time. It's going to cut it similarly to the same height as a one and a half with the grain, but it's going to clean up the area a little bit more for me so I can have a better canvas to start my fade. So we're going to be giving my client like a low mid taper and we're going to be keeping a C cups. So I'm going to start my ball line right at the crease where the ear meets the head and we're going to go from there. So here we're coming in with our clipper with the lever all the way open with no guard on and going up about a half an inch to create our first guideline. And to take out this guideline, I'm going to start with the lever all the way closed and then open it up gradually as it blends out. Our next guideline is with our number one guard with the lever all the way open. And we're going to go about another half an inch. And then I'm going to drop down to the number one guard closed to soften the guideline. And then we're going to come in with our half guard right after that. And it should be blended out completely. So here I'm back with my number two guard with the lever all the way closed, trying to cut as much of this um, afro hair at the top of the fade as I can without cutting into the braids. And then I'm going to come in with my one and a half guard with the lever all the way open and just fade down right up under that and close the one and a half guard all the way. And that should blend out this guide line. And then we're going to come back in with our one guard and do a lot of detail work. And this clipper over comb right here, it just kind of helped me get that extra hair that was at the top of the fade that I couldn't get with the guard. Now that we're done with the side taper, let's move right into the neck taper. Using my Babyliss trimmers again, I'm setting in that first guideline, which is our ball line. Just like how we did on the side taper, I'm coming in with my clipper with no guard on with the lever all the way open. Going up about a half an inch, keeping the width the same and keeping it parallel to the ball line as we create it. And to take out the guideline, we're going to start with the lever all the way closed and then we're going to open it gradually and it's going to blend right out. And we're back with our number one guard, but this time I started off with the lever all the way closed. So after setting in this guideline, we're going to come back with the half guard just to blend this out. So 
So right here I have my number two guard. I'm not gonna fade up as high because he has a lot of new growth that he's gonna probably eventually have to get put back into his twist. And I don't wanna cut a lot of that. So I'm gonna keep this fade really shallow. I'm not gonna try to blend up too much and get it too perfect. Just enough for me to be able to fade right into the Afro hair that you guys see at the back of his head. Now it's time for us to dissect this lineup. I'm using my Babyliss Snap FX trimmers with the blue FX blade on it. One of my favorite blades so far. I've been using it a lot lately. Um, yeah, so my client has like a lot of light spots at the top of his uh, hairline towards the corner. So we're gonna keep it as natural as possible. But on the side, as you guys can see, adding this nice C cup and his um, you know vertical bars is gonna add a nice touch to this taper. I'm gonna keep this cut all natural as well. So I'm gonna sit back and let you guys watch the rest of this lineup process come together. You guys, this is how the client walked in. He looked like somebody was leaving him astray. He's wearing a cape, but I had to save the date. And without further ado, this is the cut. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this haircut. And if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on the video. It helps the channel out greatly. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go down and click that subscribe button. And click on that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new drops. And you guys also can follow me on all platforms at Josh X Barber. It's your boy Josh. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.